Now it's time for Taking the Mic. Welcome to yet another day and yet another promise on immigration. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have for you this time, I hear you ask? Well, aside from the standing promise to remove people to Rwanda, we have an entire smorgasbord of places you can go. If you don't fancy Kigali this summer, Rishi could let you opt out for a different destination. So, how about Armenia? Or the Ivory Coast? Or Costa Rica? Or Botswana? And if you don't fancy any of those, we can offer you Ecuador, Paraguay, Peru or Colombia. Brazil might be a little harder, but it's not off the agenda just yet. And it doesn't stop in South America either. The list of destinations also includes Cape Verde, Senegal, Tanzania, Togo, Angola, Sierra Leone, Morocco, Tunisia, Namibia and the Gambia. Believe it or not, the government has been in talks with all these countries and more in the past few months. The Home Office is fast becoming more of a travel agent than it is a place where immigration controls are actually enforced. But the sheer numbers of illegal migrants already here is overwhelming any system that they try to put in to remove any of them. Only this Sunday, there was a new one-day record of 534 illegal migrants crossing the channel to get here. Over two days of the weekend, the number rose to 748. The numbers arriving are still outweighing those leaving by hundreds every single day. And that's despite hundreds of millions of pounds being paid to France to police their shores better, and more hundreds of millions of pounds being paid to Rwanda to take more illegal migrants into their country. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has already promised to stop housing them in hotels, but then he's also promised to stop the boats, and neither of those promises shows any sign of coming true. But there are already problems in towns around the country where government contractors like Serco are buying up more and more properties to house migrants they want to move out of the hotels, where it can cost as much as £150 a night per migrant. Private houses will cost more like £30 a night, and the Home Office has already secured 16,000 rental properties in places like Hull, Bradford and Middlesbrough. But locals who are waiting for social housing are up in arms, as are homeless groups who have been asking for homes for years. Many fear that simply moving dozens of illegal migrants into poorer areas of the country will create ghettos with the inevitable problems that brings. The Home Office has already lost track of over 6,000 illegals who are now roaming the country. Serco, along with fellow contractors Clear Springs and Mears, are offering landlords five-year leases with rents paid in full, on time, every month with no arrears, as well as full repairs and maintenance included. It's an offer that many are finding too good to turn down, and it's costing us, the taxpayer, around £4 billion. Meanwhile, there are about 1.3 million people on council house waiting lists that get longer each month. It's yet another government-inspired recipe for disaster. Ghettos are no solution to increasingly failing social cohesion, and I'm afraid things can only get worse.